we stand for peace and joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. It is indeed that we are living in a very challenging world that is full of darkness and cruelty. At times, we feel all grow weary and overwhelmed of the things happening in life. The question is, how can we look to God as our source of joy? And how can the, the joy strengthen us to pers persevere through life's trial? The scripture tells us in Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17, it says, The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one we will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. This passage of Zephaniah speaks of a future time when God has ended his judgment upon Israel. All of their enemies have been, has been destroyed and Israel is entering a time of safety and blessing. Zephaniah is speaking of the future millennial kingdom when the Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ, will reign with his people in Jerusalem. Our God the Father is the one who holds his daughter Jerusalem and sings joyfully in her presence. Just as loving father cradles a child and sings out of love, so God's songs over his people is born of his great love. After a time of hardship, our loving Lord drives his people tears, comforts their hearts, and welcomes them to a new world. Jesus also taught in the in New Testament, Luke chapter 15, verse 10. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angel of God over one sinner who repents. It is clear that there is a rejoicing in God's presence when those who are lost repent and are made right with God. God's joy is the key that we need to strengthen us each day and satisfy our souls. The joy of the Lord is not dependent on exter external circumstances, but an internal assurance that God is for us at all times. King Kim Dolan Lido said, If the joy of the Lord is our strength, then happiness isn't material. It's a choice we make in those moments to see Him working in our circumstances rather than focusing on our problems.